Donald Trump is actually a narcissist, and by the end of this episode, you will be convinced. Whenever you poke at a narcissist or you make fun of them, they lash out at the world around them like an animal with their leg caught in the trap, and that may explain why Donald Trump had a total meltdown during his press conference at Mar-a-Lago today, a press conference that he called, he wanted, he completely went off the rails, and George Conway explains in this episode of The Bulwark with Tim Miller that he has spent the past week, the past two weeks poking Donald Trump, trying to get under his skin in very unique ways, and I think we just saw that manifest into a press release or a press conference that was a total disaster. First, Meghan McCain just tweeted out, Vice President Harris is going to win. This was following a long spree of tweets of her just absolutely roasting Donald Trump, saying, is he trying to lose? What is wrong with him? This man is deranged. So I'll let George Conway explain how Donald Trump is a sociopath, a narcissist, by the exact definition, and then I'll let him explain how he has been poking Donald Trump over the past few weeks, and I'll show you the outcome today. Let's take a look. And he was a, he's, he's, a, he's a sociopath also. <laughs> he's a malignant narcissist. All of these things he is, and once you understand that, it explains everything about him. He's a sociopath. He has no, no, no honesty, no ability to, 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 he doesn't care about anybody else. He has no remorse. He has no conscience, no nothing. He, he's a pathological liar. He checks all those boxes as mm. well. And you only need three out of the however many criteria there. He checks all of them. He is a quintessential narcissistic sociopath. And with that, basically you, you understand where everything about him. You understand his racism, you understand his misogyny, you understand his authoritarianism, you understand his criminality. You understand his refusal to accept any polls where he is behind and why he absolutely lashes out when he finds out that the American people don't like him as much as he once thought. The same way that he lashed out after the 2020 election, saying it was rigged, making up lies of widespread election fraud. You begin to understand that once you know that he is a narcissist. And I know that we all know this, but George Conn Conway's breakdown gets so much better because he identifies the exact things that get under Donald Trump's skin, and it seems like he's done it so successfully that he's caused Donald Trump to melt down twice now, once at the National Association of Black Journalists and once today during his press conference at Mar-a-Lago. But the, the biggest fiduciary position in the world is that of President of the United States because you have, you are in charge with protecting the Constitution and laws, and you got the button. Yep. Okay, you've got a lot of stuff going on there, and we have to be able to trust that person to do what's in our best interest and not his best interest, even though sometimes those might align because we will we will be nice to somebody who does the right thing by us sure. as you know as a people and historians will do that. And that's what I thought that's how I thought it normally worked. But him, it's all about him, his generals. His, you know, he thinks he can make the law up and applies only to him, only to people he doesn't like and not him. Everything, everything about him can be explained through the, the reporters narcissistic reporters have to be sociopathy. nice to him. Can't ask him right. a mean and, question. Mean question, poor me. Oh, you, you know, you're asking me these questions. And yeah, all that, did, that may have been the nastiest question I've ever been asked is what he said to Rachel Scott. He was asking things about things he actually said. Oh, that's mean. You know, so... Um, Okay, so now here is George Conway explaining exactly how he started a pack to get under Donald Trump's skin. But first, I want to show you the result. This is what Donald Trump sounded like today. Very old, very deranged. I've never heard him sounding this rough. She's a radical left person at a level that nobody's seen. She picked a radical left uh, man that is, uh, he's got things done that he's, he has positions that are just not, it's not even possible to believe that they exist. Uh, he's going for things that nobody's ever even heard of. Heavy into the transgender world, heavy into lots of different worlds. He, it sounds like he just got shot up with a horse tranquilizer. He is not making any sense. That is totally the worst I've ever heard. And make sure you leave a like on the video if you agree. But let's listen to George Conway explain what he's been up to. That's who wanted him to lose. Of course, and that, that's, that's part of the object here, is the more you bait him with think look, narcissists are insecure. They are the most insecure people in the world. That's why they are narcissists. They have to pretend to put up this false um, bravado and false, like, I'm the, a stable genius. I am the most, I, I, everything, everything, I know everything. I am, the, I am the smartest and the most powerful and the greatest. And that is overcompensation on a massive scale for deep insecurity, uh, for this 
kid who was just, you know, he was a, when he was a little kid, his father used to berate him for being incompetent, which he is. And so deep down, he bears those scars and he protects himself by putting out this image of in, invincibility. And when we show these ads, they get right under his skin. And he starts talking. He wants to be defensive. He wants to explain that he's a stable genius, that he that he can figure out what an elephant is on this on this on on, on this uh, senil- is this senility test. You know, this is the and he gets crazier. And we're just showing. It's like you don't want anybody this crazy and this insecure in a position of power over your life. Can I just point out, this was posted a week ago. This was posted before Donald Trump melted down today. He was predicting that if he gets under Donald Trump's skin in the right way, this would happen. And you know, so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to provoke him to show him that. We're trying to explain to people what his problem is. And we're gonna have fun doing it because it's, you know, mockery I think is the best thing that you can do to, 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 to drive us drive a narcissistic sociopath crazy. Uh, just over the last two weeks, like you can see, you know, how he lashes out in these in these right. situations. Yep, and he's been lashing out more and more. And today was the big climax because VP Harris was shown to be above or ahead of Donald Trump by eight points in an A plus poll. Donald Trump, right after that poll came out, scheduled this press conference. He tried to manipulate the media, play the media like he always does. He tries to say something so outrageous that all of the media plays it without pushing back effectively, and he gets basically free campaign time. But number one, we're pushing back. Number two, it's not as effective when you're just completely unhinged and people look at you like a criminal. So Donald Trump's old campaigning tactics just aren't working anymore. He can't manipulate the media in the same way when he comes across as a completely unhinged lunatic. My question is, you think that last time there was a peaceful transfer of power when you left office? No, I think the people that, if you look at January 6th, which a lot of people aren't talking about very much, I think those people were treated very harshly. When you compare them to other things that took place in this country where a lot of people were killed, nobody was killed on January 6th. Uh, Please. Donald Trump has hit a new low. He forgot about Ashley Babbitt in that clip. And I truly do think what George Conway is trying to do is working. It's working incredibly well. And we know that because it manifests with every single rally that Donald Trump holds, every single speech that he gives, every single time he gives us the gift of more evidence that he's facing some sort of cognitive decline. He proves that George Conway's theory that if you poke a narcissist, they will lash out is absolutely true. So I can't wait to see what Donald Trump does over the coming weeks leading into this debate with VP Harris on September 10th. It should be amazing. Hopefully VP Harris can poke the bear effectively. If you guys agree with what I said, if you appreciate what I do, make sure you leave a like on the video, comment a blue heart, interact with some other people in the comment section to help build that community heading into this election. A strong community is needed with such a high stakes election. Most importantly, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.